This is the main house for the Beck Ranch. Him and his brother raised Morgans up here. Now what's interesting is, is William Beck used to be one of the, be a sheriff in Clark County, Nevada. Now, this cabin, as you can see, is actually built out of railroad ties. And these are, ties are actually from the Tonopah Tidewater Railroad that ran from Tonopah all the way down to Ludlow, California. Let me look at that. What people don't realize or know is, is there's some really good grapes up here. The grapes are easily made into wines. Uh, they're excellent for eating. They're great table grapes. So this is all that is really left. This used to be the kitchen. Unfortunately, it's collapsed. So there's the stove. Sink way over there. Still got some plates, plastic plates, of course. A while ago, people came in and put up a big sheet of plastic right over here uh, to kind of partition off this area. And because this area here, the roof was or the ceiling wasn't in bad condition. And they were using this as kind of a hunter shack. Check out that fireplace. It actually still works, which is pretty amazing. It isn't all plugged up and stuff. Um, <clears throat> but back to my story. So it wasn't uncommon that you would find a hunter up here staying in this place. But it just slowly started deteriorating too much. <clears throat> I realized I haven't taken a 360 of this place since the porch collapsed. So I came back out to take a new 360 and I am very sad, but look at that. That's the bathroom. But you gotta figure, this place gets a lot of snow. Yeah, I like the floor here. And there's this main chimney. Uh, interesting story on how these railroad ties came about. I really don't believe it, but as I said, it's a very interesting story. The story goes that Herman Jones, who happened to be a character out there by Death Valley Junction and the such, actually owned this place and, and on paper he did own this place at one time well the story goes that a rancher in Amargosa collected a whole bunch of the Tonopah Tidewater Railroad ties and somebody came over and stole them all no hide or hair closet uh, who took them well Knight County didn't have many sheriffs at the time so they contacted Clark County because the area was closer to Clark County than it was to the capital of Tonopah. And they asked, can you send somebody down? So William Beck went ahead and responded to the call. And supposedly he actually followed the trail of the railroad ties up here to where Herman Jones was going to build a cabin for him. To keep from going from jail, the story goes that Herman Jones signed over this entire property to him along with the railroad ties. I don't know if it's true, but like I said, it makes for a very interesting tale. There's that plastic I was telling you about that they try to line. Yeah, this right here is the tree that took out the porch. This looks like it just finally died. Which is very strange because if you look way over there, that is a huge spring. And it's actually been improved 
in the sense that they actually built a tunnel, opened it up so it actually flowed more water. Over here is where they kept some of the livestock. Now the main horses were actually kept down there in the valley where to this day the Beck family still has a hundred year lease with the BLM on grazing land. Now, the Beck family do, does not own this property anymore. I did run into one of William Beck's relatives and she was not very happy because she claims that they stole her property. Don't know if it's true, but that's what she claimed. Now down here is the chicken coop. A nice little shelter. And there's the chicken bins, or wherever they keep, wherever it's called, where they keep the chicken. This collapsed one here. It wasn't for horses, especially Morgans. It's too small. Here, let me get up to the other part of it, and I'll show you. But they might have had goat and sheep up here. You see what I mean? That doorway is probably about five feet. You're not going to fit a Morgan in there. And then you got chicken wire inside. And so I'm actually thinking they might have had goats or sheep. Over here on this side, this right here would have been more suited for horses. And you could tell they were trucking them in because there's the ramp. And this is a little bit taller. I'm going to go ahead and get my backpack on and I'm going to start heading over towards the spring. I want to see how much of a pain in the butt it's going to be to cross over that way because it's starting to get hot. The spring is there and there's one over there. The tunnel is basically right where my finger is pointing. It's not that big. It was more to improve the water flow. Here we are, getting closer to the trees. Look at this. All right. And of course, I did not bring any gloves with me, but that's okay. Most of this stuff is willow. I am afraid of grabbing those, the ones I almost tripped into. Uh, and there's another cacti. I'm trying to avoid that. Almost like being in a jungle. As I am doing this, 
I'm trying to look at the ground as much as possible. I'm stuck back. Uh, my monopod was getting stuck on one of the branches. Okay, that worked. There we go. Still got a ways to go to the field. Look at the size of these trees. This is the site of the original homestead before the house with the railroad ties was built. The stone buildings over here. Here's the original homestead. It was actually pretty good size. Check out that little fireplace. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my 360 stuff and get an updated picture of this. Now this water tank that somebody went around and decided to add graffiti to, and the graffiti is just proof of why we can't have nice things anymore, was actually a water tank used in the Tonopah Tidewater to haul water. The reasoning for carrying extra water is these steam engines, which needed a lot of water. Uh, they may come up to the next stop, a well, that was completely dry. This at least gave them an emergency supply to get to the next one. And look how thick that metal is. The rivets and everything. And right here, it's just a nice little corral. Okay. That is actually it for today. If you have stuck around to the very end, I appreciate it. Have fun out there exploring. Most of all, be safe.